Hi there, my name's Andrew, I'm one of the final year medical students. Could I just check your name and date of birth, please? Sure, it's James, uh, 13th of December 1989. Nice to meet you, James. Today I've been asked to examine your hips. So this will just involve watching you walk, looking at the hip joints, feeling around both hip joints, and then assessing the movement in both hips as well. Would that be okay? That sounds fine. Do you have any pain at all before we start? No, I don't. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to inspect you walking. Could you just walk to the end of the room and back for me? Okay, James, now using this tape measure, I'm going to measure the length of both legs. Okay, now for some movements. If you could just bring your right knee up towards your chest as far as you can. and bring it back down, and same on the other side. That's great. Okay, James, I'm now gonna move your legs for you. Just stay as relaxed as possible. Okay, I'm just going to lift your leg up, James. Just stay as relaxed as possible. Same on the other side. James, I'm now going to put my hand underneath your back and lift each leg up in turn. Do let me know if you have any pain at all. And same on the other side. And stand on your right leg for me. And now stand on your left leg. And relax. Okay, James, that completes the examination. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Today I performed a hip exam on James, a 27-year-old male. James had a normal gait and no obvious deformities on inspection. On palpation, James had no pain of either hip and he had a full range of active and passive movement. This was a normal hip exam. To complete my examination, I'd like to examine the spine, the knees, complete a neurovascular examination of the lower limbs and review any available imaging.